go. Um, hi guys, my name is Jason, and today I'm going to talk about how will artificial intelligence and automation affect next generation during the next decade. So, um, the Terminator, AI, artificial intelligence, and the Martex, these are what people think about when they think when they heard the word artificial intelligence. People are afraid that th these scenes in um, movies will arise in reality. So, what is artificial intelligence to you? Okay, no one. <laughs> um, that does. Um, I think in lots. In my opinion. Artificial intelligence are um, things that can gather data and they can compute data. They can make decisions by the data they collect and just act like humans. And what's automation and what's the difference between that? Um, automation is more like things that um, humans give them command and they work in a, they work in a routine. So um, an example of artificial intelligence will be um, self-driving cars, and, and an, an example for automation can be the machines um, in factories. Um, so the definition of automation is actually always changing. For example, 20 years ago, um, people when, our, when autopilot was just invented, People are people all think that um, that's an amazing artificial intelligence, and um, however, as time goes by, people as times goes by, people um, no longer call it artificial intelligence because um, because it's on every airplane and it's getting very common. So. This leads to a conclusion. As we get used to new technologies being artificial intelligence, we stop calling them artificial intelligence. Here's another question. What do you want to be when you grow up regarding technology? Maybe many of you haven't decided um, what you're going to be in the future, but aren't you worrying about the future job market? Um, have anyone here can give me some example of some jobs that might be replaced by automation or artificial intelligence. Yes, Kel? Uh, I would say uh, automation and construction workers and all these things. Cause yeah. These days now, robots are doing most of the jobs. Yes, one option. And another um, like very important, very like large amount is um, driving. Do you know that um, in the United States about 5.2 million of people, which is about 3.5 to 4% of the US economy are based on driving? So um, can you imagine that all of the 5.2 people um, lose their job once all the car, all their taxis and Ubers are replaced by um, self-driving cars? So this is why Elon Musk talked about that the biggest menace of human beings is artificial intelligence in MIT in a speech in 2014. So um, you think this is not related to you? This is happen This is actually just happening right now. Um, in the past three months, Uber laid off more than a thousand and two hundred employees, and um, as companies, as, as more jobs are replaced by um, robots, companies are expecting you to have a higher standard and you will have more competitors. Uh, meanwhile, Uber is in inventing its self-driving car. As you can see right here, um, that's its self-driving car. There are currently more than 3 million Uber drivers in the world and once these cars replace those human Uber drivers, they're all going to lose their jobs. So here's another example that um, artificial intelligence are doing better than human. This video was carried out at the um, Oxford University Computer Science Department. Um, in this experiment, um, artificial intelligence are trying to detect that what's the person are talking. And um, 
like you can try to recognize, but like it's very hard for me. However, like the artificial intelligence, which is the leap net, um, predicted correctly. So um, according to this research, the accuracy of prof professional leap reader is about 52 uh, 52 percent, and compared to artificial intelligence, they can recognize um, more than 93.4 percent of what they're talking about. So let's talk about something that's more related to us. Um, in China, those children need to wear um, a thing on their head, and um, those machines can detect their brain waves, and then it can tell whether they're concentrating or not. The data are directly sent to their parents and teachers, but this actually gives um, children a lot of pressure. So of course, um, artificial intelligence is helping us to learn, just in our school. And there's also machines that can detect whether which children is sick, sick, and which is not, since this is a great problem in school. So as you can see, um, this is a packaging factories. But before these machines that's running around um, were invented, there were thousands or maybe there are thousands of workers in these factories to organize the package. But once these machines are invented, they all lose their job. So this is another example of automation. And those machines are actually more efficient and they are doing, they have a, um, they, have, they are more accurate. So anyone here still call to call center right now? No, okay. So um, in this decade, we use Google, which is for accurate, which is more, um, there are more information and which is more um, efficient. So, but do we miss them? No, not at all. So it doesn't matter whether you're, um, you're working in a factory, you're sitting in an office, or if you're doing something that's fundamentally routine or predictable, this job is going to be replaced by robots or artificial intelligence soon. So after talking about um, those jobs that might be replaced by heat robots, these are some jobs that, that should not be replaced by robots at this stage of our world. Um, some jobs that are related to judgment, like doctors. Some jobs that are related to management, like manager. Some jobs that are related to education, like teachers. Some jobs that are related related to um, creativity, like barbers. I mean, I don't want the I don't want the robot to cut my hair. Um, so these jobs um, are those who which seems that will not be replaced by robots at now. But like as I said, um, the. No one can, 20 years ago, no one can imagine that one day a computer will drive cars. At that time, they think um, when computers drive cars, it might crash. So we cannot predict what's going to happen in the next few years. So here's, this is uh, a personal thing that this part of the artificial intelligence is not developing too well. Um, these are like robots trying to act like humans, but they are actually not, they, they failed. Um, I mean, there's a lot of funny videos here that robots trying to, but this video was um, released in 2015. And I'm sure that the robots now did way better than this. Um, so how smart is today's artificial intelligence? We're, now we are near Star Wars, but we're growing very quickly. Um, although a lot of us are thinking about that um, artificial intelligence might take over us, but um, our artificial intelligence today are not being independently uh, intelligent. They are run by um, humans come in. The artificial intelligence today are like um, Amazon's Alexa, Google Assistant, um, Apple, Siri, and so on. So, although they might think, they might be sentient for you, but they're 
actually not. Um, for example, the self-driving cars that I mentioned, instead of they think by themselves, um, we're telling them that, oh, this is a human, this is a car, you need to stay in dense. So after a lot of human feedback, we made it to today's artificial intelligence. So it is important to understand that artificial intelligence can be developed in both good way and bad way. Um, if we use it correctly, there will be a great improvement and will be a lot more convenience to us. Um, it is important for us to set up some regulations to prevent the negative effects of artificial intelligence. Um, artificial intelligence is unavoidable. Technology is advancing so much that many of our jobs will be replaced by artificial intelligence. We must learn to adopt and survive these changes. Are you excited of what's AI going to be in the future? I really am. Thank you.